Hey guys, welcome back to Lifestyle with Johnny. Today's episode is going to be hilarious. You know why? There's going to be five things you need to know or to do when you're married or with your girl. Like, this is just, man, this is going to be like the law. This is like the, the five laws of power you need to know. Because if you don't, then you're messing up. And if you're still watching this right now, that means you are messing up <laughs> greatly. So, um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Smash that like button. I want you to kick it. Yeah, kick that joint, man. And the, hit the bell so you get notifications when the new episodes are up. But um, let's get started. All right, guys. Five things you need to know when you're married. I had to write it down. And that's actually part one of them. We can see one of them right now. So five things you need to know when you get married with your girl. The number one thing. Is listening. Listening is huge. If you're not listening to your girl, I'm sure she probably told you many a times, you're not listening to me. You're not listening to me. How can you not listen to me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me yet? And we probably, most of the time, don't. I know I don't. I get screamed at every single day. And I know my producer could attest to that. He laughs because he knows he sees me all the time getting yelled at about, I'm not listening. So take the time out to listen, guys and retain the information they give you, okay? That's number one. Number two, when you're out and about doing errands, doing whatever, you went to the gym, went to go play ball with your boys, or let's see, you went to go play Xbox with your boys or whatever, and you return back, you better bring something back for her. Bring back whatever. You know what I'm saying? She likes candy, she likes soda, she likes food. It shows that you were thinking about her and it shows a gesture of, of love and kindness about, you know what, baby, I was thinking about you and boom, I know I was out all day and you were here in the crib, but you know what, I got this for you, boom, and let's chop it up, let's have some, let's, just, let's have this meal together. Definitely bring something back, okay? Number three, don't ask her where she wants to eat if you guys are out. If you guys have been running around together all day, and then she says she's hungry, be a man and make a decision. If you go ahead and ask your woman, what would you like to eat? Oh man, that's a whole nother can of worms to open up. Cause she gonna be like, oh, you don't know me. You don't just love me, but you don't know me either. And how can you ask me what I want to eat? You should already know what I want to eat. Look at the mood I'm in. And blah, 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 blah. You should just know. Make a decision, so you know what? We're having a tie in, let's go, boom. And she's gonna be happy because you made a decision. Let's make a decision. We don't make enough decisions. Like, man, like, grab your spot back and be a man in your relationship and let's make a damn decision. Four, number four, write things down. As you can see, I wrote these things down because you have to. It doesn't hurt, especially when, like I said, number one, this ties into number one, we have to listen. So if you're listening, you should be writing it down. If you don't want to write it down in front of her, you better well, as well write it down right after you finish the conversation. That way you can't forget nothing and you can do exactly what she told you to do or to get or whatever. Write things down so you remember. Use a calendar for special dates and events so there's no way in hell you can forget. Like, we just have to take that extra step, gentlemen, because we're bad with that. I know I'm, I'm horrible with that. If it doesn't pertain to me particularly, it just escapes my fucking mind, you know what I'm saying? And number five, spend quality time. Like I said about the first one, right? Or the second one, if you too much time with your boys playing ball and doing a gym and playing Xbox with them, where's the time with her? Play some Xbox with her. No, make sure you tickle her, you know what I'm saying? Like, do, do your thing with her, you know what I'm saying? Like, spend time, Netflix and chill, go out to eat, uh, a special event. I know there's COVID out there right now, so, you should definitely try harder to get to know your girl even more and develop your relationship to the next level. And whatever that level to me mean for you. Don't know what that means for you. If you're married, getting deeper with it. If you're not married, maybe talk about engagement. Maybe talk about marriage after the engagement requires what time frame does I mean look like. But get your situation together. Those are the five things I have right now for you. Okay? Go ahead, write these things down, and put them into practice. I guarantee you. They will work wonders for you. Until then, guys, that's Tom and Johnny. We're out.